Hey everyone, my name is Ben and welcome to our GS Kids experience. I am so excited that we're here today. We have lots of cool things in store. We have some really neat activities and I'm really excited because today we're gonna talk about words. Now, it might amaze you to realize that words are super powerful. They have the power to make people feel really good, but they also have the power to really, really hurt people. And sometimes without realizing it, our words can really, really hurt someone. You know, it's kind of like this toothpaste. And now all of you are gonna get this tube of toothpaste in your GS Kids kit. Now here's something I've always wanted to do. You could take this toothpaste and you can dump it all out. Check this out, oh wow. Okay, so we now have this empty tube of toothpaste. Now what if I told you to put all of this toothpaste back in its container? Well, let's try. Hmm. No, that doesn't work either, folks. Don't do it the Ben way. So as you can see, it doesn't really work. And that's kind of like our words. Just like we can't put this toothpaste back in the container, we can't take back our words. Well, that's why it's important that we think before we speak, because you don't want to end up like this. All right, let's check out what's next in our program. I'm at a stop sign, a fork in the road Shaking my emotions, looking at my options Which way to go? It's a moment of decision, an opportunity To do what's right by you And what's best for me So maybe I will do just what I know that I should do Even when it isn't really what I'm wanting to I know there is a way that I can honor you And so I'm gonna do just what I know that I should do I'm gonna look and I'm gonna listen And make a good decision Yeah, I'm gonna stop I'm gonna look and I'm gonna listen Yeah, and make a good decision So maybe I will do just what I know that I should do Even when it isn't really what I'm wanting to I know there is a way that I can honor you So I'm gonna do just what I know that I should do So maybe I will do just what I know that I should do Even when it isn't really what I'm wanting to I know there is a way that I can honor you And so I'm gonna do just what I know that I should do
Nice. That's old. I need to remember to throw that out. What? Ooh, that's nasty! Who put this in here? That's tasty. Yummy for my tummy. Welcome to the So and So Show. The so -and -so show. <laughs> I'm Brandon. Uh, I'm John. And we are glad that you are hanging out with us today. Mm -hmm. What are you doing? Oh, uh, haven't we all learned our lesson from playing with that universal remote? Hi, Santos Cielos. Por qué estoy hablando en español? The words on the screen are not what I'm saying. Look, can you see how that's different? Oh, buddy. I think you roll. Ah! Oh. No, 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 no. I'm not trying to do anything crazy. I'm just... <laughs> What's this gib button? What? Where this... There's this G-I-B-B -B button. I've never seen it on a remote No idea. Before. Can you please put the remote control down? Uh, uh, please put it down. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Yeah, of, of course. That is... Sorry. It's all right. <laughs> Today's show is all about our words and how we should choose them carefully. John! Ooh. Yub! Yip, yip, yeah, yeah. Zippy la la wee wah. Zup, chup, lap, lap, flub, blub, blub. Go, Link! Shub, sub, jib, shinkle, shockle. Chaka, laka, zip, zub. Uh, uh, brin, brin, san, san. <laughs> Shankle, chinkle, drim, drum. Oh. Lapple, wapple, wenny, penny. Oh, kinkle, winkle. Uh, Jimmy, Wimmy, Limmy, Libby, Mabby. Huh. Ah. Wub, wub, loopy, zoo, zoo. Krieg, single, single, can, can. Mapple, mapple, mean, <laughs> Jane. Oh. Oh. Uh-huh. Zoop, Lulu, zippy, loo, woo. <sighs> Scoop, plop, blah, 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 blah. Low, 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 zoop, zoop. Chip, chip, crug, rug. Scans, jibble, wibble, dime, care, babble. Hoo, <laughs> hoo, wobble, dobble. Nab, nab, Jim, juper. Clean, sling, gib, jobber. Jude, jot, slan, rankles, pan, doot. Sly. Croon. Huh. Peppy Slappy. Well. Oh, you're, you're speaking, speaking normal. normal. Uh, oh, we can we can understand uh, each other. No. We can understand each other. Uh, and you need to put this away. Yes, for I good. do. Thank you. You know, you should never push the jib button. I didn't realize it would make us speak gibberish. What did you think it did? It made us sound like Barry Gibb. <laughs> What you got for us, Kellen? Today's Bible story is all about our words and the power they have. Cool. Yeah. And I was going to tell it with a video game. Are you guys in? We're, We're in. in. Perfect. The game is called The Power of Words. Sounds fun. Yeah. In Proverbs 12, verse 18, King Solomon wrote, The words of thoughtless people cut like swords, 
but the tongue of wise people brings healing. Our words are so powerful. So when we're careless and we don't think about what we're going to say, they can cause major damage. But if we're thoughtful and select our words wisely, they can do amazing things. So our mission is to find people and then choose to say a thoughtful word? That's it. On it. Oh, 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 there's a doorway. Go over there. Go over there. Oh, right okay. there, right there. There's a door. No, I'm going. Oh, okay, okay. I wonder what this weird old gray beard has to say. <laughs> Are you here to make fun of me too and call me weird old gray beard like other people do? Whoops. Ah. Uh, I'm only 20 and I have a long gray beard. That doesn't make me weird or old. I, I, but I, I didn't mean to. I, I, was, I think we're supposed to choose our words carefully now. Oh, okay, so well, what do we say? I don't know. Probably what you would want to hear if you were that person. Ah, ah. I'm sorry. People call me names sometimes too. It doesn't feel great. It's nice to know someone understands. Yeah. We did it! Well done! Sometimes the most thoughtful thing you can say to someone is, I'm sorry, or I understand where you're coming from. Keep going. Take the top path. Top the, path? the top path. The top path. I'm going the, I'm take that top path. I am, I am. Oh, okay. I'll go talk to that guy over there. I, that would guy you please right let me do this? Yeah. Hello, I'm Uno. Oh, I got this one. Move, you're blocking the stairs. Boo hoo, no one ever wants to talk to me. They just want to go down the stairs. Oh no, Uno, Thought, come back. Thoughtful words, Brandon, know, thoughtful I'm, words. I'm sorry, I was just, I wasn't thinking. It's okay, none of us are perfect with our words all the time, but we definitely should try and think before we speak. Why don't you guys try one more board? Okay. Oh, go down the stairs. Go down yeah. the stairs. There's stairs I, I know, right there. Obviously, I'm going. Okay. Hello, I'm Bananas. What do you want? Uh, maybe you better take this one. Uh, um. Hello, Bananas. How is your day today? None of your business. Hey. Why, you little... Wait, wait, John. You never know what kind of day someone could be having. Let's think before we type. You're right. Uh, well, Bananas, I just wanted to tell you I think your name is really cool. Oh, that's so nice. I was having a bad day, but now I feel better. Here's a bag of gold! Uh, yeah! We did it! <laughs> Guys, that was so great. You used thoughtful words even when the person you were talking to wasn't very thoughtful. You were right. We don't know what kind of day other people are having. And sometimes our words can make a huge difference in someone's day and in someone's life. And sometimes our words get us free gold. I mean, I guess that's possible, but it probably shouldn't be your only reason for using kind words. Got it. Remember the verse, the words of thoughtless people cut like swords, but the tongue of wise people brings healing. Thanks, Kellen. Yeah, and thanks for the batteries. Zub, yub, yib, yib. Ah, I'm just kidding. I'll see you guys you. next time. <laughs> I think it's time to reveal the question. How can words make things better? Hmm. Uh, I think words can help explain things or help someone understand. Yeah, words can also tell someone how you feel or uh, tell them how they could help. Y you know, when we were stuck speaking gibberish earlier, all I wanted was to be understood. You know, it's amazing how many people just want to hear those simple words. I hear you. It's true. So many arguments and misunderstandings could be turned down a few notches if just a few thoughtful words were used. Yeah. Well, here's a thoughtful word for you, Brandon. Mm -hmm. Good show. Thank you, John. I hear you, and I understand where you're coming from. <gasps> and that's the So and So Show, everyone. It hits right there, right there in the heart. Aww. It feels good.
Bop, Stoop Bop, Lee Bop. Come clap, come clap, 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 I have a question for you. How can words make things better? You know, think about a time where you said words like, thank you, or I'm sorry. You know, consider how that's, you know, helped you in your relationship with friends or with family members. You know, words do indeed have the power to make things better. And you know, sometimes we have to rely on God for help with that too. And that takes us once again into this month's memory verse. It's in 2 Peter 1, 3. God's power has given us everything we need to lead a godly life. Well, that's all for us for today. And I can't wait to see you next time. Have a great week.